Hey! Welcome! How Come nice on to in. see you! Nice to see you too! You have a wonderful smile! Thank you, yeah. you too! Where is this smile originally from? Ah, uh, it's from Copenhagen, Denmark. Do you have Born something Danish here? I do have something Danish, let me just show you. Yeah. It's a tiny little thing, but it's the one thing that reminds me of Denmark every single day. A little Danish flag. <laughs> <laughs> what when you moved to, the, to New York? I moved because of uh, my education. I was accepted to a master degree in opera, and I'm an opera singer. You're so opera singer. I was here to study, and then I tagged along and stayed. I thought all opera singers were a little more fat than you. That's true. That's a myth, though. I mean, it's it's all about the muscle. There isn't really any secret things in fat or any resonance. <laughs> so uh, you can still be an opera singer and be quite quite slim. And cool. with the, the quality, like, I mean, the power now these days in opera, you need to swing around and up and down and. You're acting so much more now than in the old days, so you have to be fit. Right, definitely. yeah. Where do you spend most time here? I wish I could say the bedroom, but it is not true. <laughs> I spend most of my time right in here, next to my grand piano, practicing, 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 right here. Well, you need to be persistent probably as an opera singer. That's true. One expression you need to learn living in New York City? A good resting bitch face, like... Oh yeah, okay. So that's say, the way to survive. Probably. Yeah. To, to not engage too much. I engaged a lot when I first moved here and I was interested in everything and yeah. very curious and that can be dangerous. Okay. So just like a resting, I'm not involved kind of face, <laughs> subway face, that's, that's a good one. Now that we buy the piano, yeah. uh, what's the highest note you can sing? Probably the F above the high C. Alright, so let me hear it. That is insane. You ever broken glass with it? No, no? not yet. <laughs> we'll try that later. Uh, what would you wear for uh, when you have a performance? Well, if it's my own performance, a recital where I'm not in a costume, I would wear something like this. Oh, well, a performance lady dress. in red. Yes, very dramatic, good for recitals and dramatic German music and all of the things that you might be seeing. Yeah. Now, three places you would recommend people to go to to see a good opera performance. Ooh, the Metropolitan Opera, right. Carnegie Hall, yeah. BAM in Brooklyn, beautiful venues for opera. Wow. Definitely. Those are great yeah. tips. Thank you. Um, what's the best thing about living in Tribeca? It's silent. There's yeah. calmness in the water. I am a Pisces, so I need to be close to the water and having that calmness around you in New York is very important. It's nice. a busy city. Yeah, so yeah, being yeah. down here where there's no tourists and just quiet, I need that. Great. What's the most expensive thing you have in uh, your apartment? Mm, besides the piano, it must be my little piggy because it's filled with money. Yeah. I think that's probably the most expensive thing we have here. But this neighborhood is quite an expensive neighborhood, right? It is a little bit expensive, yeah. I will say that. Once you get further down, it gets a little bit expensive. Where should I go to play with the rich people in Tribeca? Ooh, that's a good question. I know that Meryl Streep and some of those, you know, really famous actors that are living here, they go to La Canda Verde. Okay. Um, they go to, you know, different restaurants around here. I think we should go there now because the alarm I, went You off. might just spot them. You never, never know. But thank you so much for having us. You're welcome. That was. A Don't great. fall your way out. <laughs> bye Take bye. care, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>